Welcome back to the PS4 Trophies S rank walkthrough in the Phantom Pain. We're in mission 48, Code Talker. Another repeat mission. This is the extreme version, which is supposed to be harder. The truth is, it's just annoying that we have to redo this, and it's actually easier because we're better equipped and just better players overall. Now, having said that, as far as the mission goes to get the S rank, I'm actually going to get a perfect stealth, no kills bonus of 50,000 on this. So it's going to uh, not be too difficult, but in the beginning section, you're going to have a bunch of skull snipers that are going to try to shoot you. And uh, I, I kind of found a, at least this method worked for me, uh, a relatively safe way to do this. I'm just going to kind of travel up the creek side here. And we're going to get to the base of this uh, cliff uh, just up ahead to our left. And we're going to have a little cutscene here. So I'm going to skip it to save time. I'm going to continue up here and uh, follow the uh, river bed here. And I'm gonna kinda cut over once I get to the base of the cliff here. And this is gonna provide me cover from the snipers that are sitting up there. Now if they do hit you once, you'll die, but if you have a, a horse, they'll, you, that gives you essentially a free shot because they're gonna hit the horse and then allow you to continue on. So I just ran straight across there over to the opposite side here and just followed the left side up. And they never even once trained their sights on me. Now, I might have gotten lucky, I don't know. Um, but uh, that's really it for that section. So just continue through the forest here. Uh, if they do uh, 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 get sights on you, it's really easy just to avoid a weave through the trees to, to block their attempt to shoot you. But once you get here, you're definitely clear. And then we're going to head up to the second half of this mission, and that's up at the mansion. And in the mansion, we need to find Code Talker, who's going to be in the basement. Of course, if you already played this mission, you already know exactly where he's located. And I'm going to do a similar strategy, but because it is the extreme version, the enemies are going to have better gear on. Helmets, right gear, shields, or whatever. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more tedious than the first time we were here. Now, I did do a checkpoint uh, restart uh, once I got to the back door of this uh, mansion, only because I realized I could probably save another 10 seconds off, so I wanted to kind of improve the score a little bit, maybe improve the um, walkthrough itself. So you're going to see kind of a, an edit here as I'm climbing up this next rock. There it is. Alright, so I'm going to go over here, and I'm actually going to extract him. I kind of want him for uh, my intel team. For Mother Base. He will also tell you where guys are posted if you want to interrogate him. But really, you don't even need to interact with him at all if you don't want to. Alright, so we're going to go to the back of the building, and there's only these two guys that we're going to have to deal with. Well, at least until we <laughs> leave the, the mansion and we got a, a course of zombies after us or whatever the hell they are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a distraction, and I'm going to use the magazine as my distraction. This thing is, I'm going to be honest with you, it's infinite ammo, um, or uses, and it's kind of overpowered. It's really exceptionally helpful. So I'm just going to kind of toss it over here behind them, and it's going to turn both of their attentions to it, allowing me to go to the door. And this is why I restarted. I was using another um, method of deception, but... I found that was just a little easier, so I wanted to re-record it. Of course, uh, restarting checkpoint does take back the time, uh, the mission time, to the point of the, the save checkpoint. Uh, although you will not get the no retries bonus if you do it. That's okay, we're going to get almost 200,000 points. Alright, so once you found the code talker, you got to do the slow walk of shame out of this building. So I'm just going to cut the minute of jibber-jabber out of there. And once we get through this door and we can start running, the first thing I'm going to do is call my helicopter to the extraction point, the LZ. It's a little bit away. Now be careful because now you have these things and they can grab you. If they grab you, uh, you'll drop the, uh, the code talker. You'll have to kind of fight them off, pick up the code talker, and run off again. Of course, there is one of the optional uh, bonus objectives for uh, making it through this section without uh, without Code Talker taking any damage, which it will be the case in this run right here. So 
So I would like to say this is probably almost a nearly perfect run. Could have certainly saved some more time had I not decided to uh, send that one soldier back to Mother Base. But as far as a speed run, I think it was pretty good. And speaking of pretty good, this is going to bring us to the end of the mission. Just put the doctor uh, into the helicopter and that'll end the mission. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you share the video, like, subscribe, you know what to do, and we'll see you next time.